I'm using leftovers today. I actually made like a stew with one of those burgers and some of the vegetables that got reduced and that's what's left of it and I thought I'd just turn it into a curry so I've got some of my pea shoots in there and some of the lettuce that had gone a bit limp and really was no good for a salad and a windfall apple so I'm just using leftovers to make a curry for brunch so when that's cooked down a bit almost at the end I will add the stew serve it with a little bit of yogurt I think and some mint and some raw onion I've cut some of those mustard seeds that I grew to go on top as well and a few mint leaves I think I'm actually going to go along to Holland and Barrett today today it's Wednesday the 30th of November and I've still got one of those vouchers that's 20% off see if we can get some more those mustard seeds grew so quickly and they've got a bit of a bite to them. I deal with a curry. I always think a curry is a good way to use up leftovers. Waste nothing. I did go to Holland and Barrett with that 20% off voucher. And this is what I bought. Just two bars of chocolate. And they were £2.19 each. But it was the buy one get one half price store. So they were £1.64. So the subtotal came to £4.38. And then with the promotional savings, it was £1.10 off. Then I gave him my 20% off voucher because there was no minimum spend. So £2.62 for the two bars of chocolate. And he asked me if I wanted the receipt. And I said, yes, please, to see if there was another voucher on the receipt. But this time the voucher is... £3 off if you spend £30, so there is a minimum spend and that works out at just 10% and that's valid for September, so I might go along, we'll see. And then because I was at the outlet at York, the MacArthur Glen outlet, I thought I'll have a good look round and I did. And I got this lovely swimsuit from Next, now £18.50. But if you look, it has been £48. And I went and tried it on, because there's a changing room there. And it fits nice, actually. But when I got to the till to pay, it actually came through at £18. So it makes it makes sense at, at, when there's an end of season sale, when it's coming to the end of summer or end of winter or end of spring. Go have a look and see what you can find. This actually, I, I do have two swimming costumes, but I thought this was really nice, actually. I thought it was lovely. And for £18.50, that'll keep. A bit of a treat week this week for me. I have a box that I keep all my little treats in. I do like a cup of coffee with a piece of chocolate. And it's been seriously depleted. So this is what I've bought this week. How much did I spend? £7.12. pence. Some Canon Caramel Chunky Bars. Those are 99p for nine. As I've said before, I eat one of these. It's packs of two. So there's like ten biscuits in there for me. They're a pound and nine pence. The milk chocolate, their own milk chocolate digestives. Those are now, what are those? Those are now 75p. I've got another one of those Sunday blend coffees for one ninety nine, And my cocoa powder, I do like a cup of hot chocolate as well. £1.49. Prices aren't going to come down anytime soon, if anything. Even if inflation's falling, it just means that Prices aren't rising as much. So if you can, 
try and stock up a bit. Some crisps, 85p. That's my little mini haul this week. Nothing much for tempens this week, people. I did pick up some tofu, which I put back. And there was a few other things, but this is what I actually kept. I got the extra fine green beans from 150 down to 10 pence. And I got this celery, 57p down to 10 pence. The celery I got reduced to 10 pence a couple of weeks ago was just the centre part. This has actually been cut off at the base and I'll show you later on how, it, how to regrow it. It's quite simple really. If you, if you don't use too much water, just a tiny little bit. Anyway, I will show you when I come to do it. The peach slices look to have been rebranded. Those are third, still 34p. They did have quite a lot of those. The Stamford Street 10 mixed eggs. Do you know and some of them are quite big because they're all different sizes. I do have a look before I pick them out. But look at some of those. Really big eggs. In fact, the whole front row. Those were £1.66. Some of their basic carrots. I will take them out of the plastic and dry them overnight like I normally do before I put them in the fridge. They do keep better if you if you take them out of the plastic. Um, that's a kilogram bag and that's 50p. Their cooking bacon, 500 grams. It's all the bits there. That's uh, a pound. And I got some lamb's liver. And it's tomorrow's date. But it was still reduced, 180 down to £1.44. I did see this um, Parmesan cheese that's got, uh, that's on the ordinary shelves. It's not in the fr uh, fridges. And I thought to myself, I picked it up. It, it was down to 88p from 175, I think. And the date on it was 2024, but I thought, no, and I popped that back. And I had a good look round, and if you look, there's quite a few toys reduced. Um, there was some Harry, Harry Potter things reduced. If you go up and down the aisles and really have a good look, if you can afford to buy a few things now for Christmas, just maybe one a month, uh, or one a week, or one every fortnight, if you can do it, just to stock in fillers. But do have a look, because they are starting to reduce things. But one thing I did notice that had gone back up in price, again, this is seven times in a month now, is petrol. At that petrol station where I monitor the petrol, it's now 150.9. It's gone up a penny this week, so far. This is Wednesday night. Anyway, we'll see. Carrots nice and dry. These are those pound sixty six for 10 eggs at Sainsbury's. And they are free range eggs. But when you look, they're all mixed sizes. But when you look, the whole, the whole front row there looks to be extra large. The back row... Small or medium. What quality there for £1.66? I partially cooked the carrots and potatoes just for about five or six minutes as I started the liver and the onions. And when the liver and onions were partially cooked as well, I added a Norse stock cube and then used some of the water that I was cooking the carrots and potatoes in to start the gravy off. And that left some room at the top of the pan to add the green beans and the celery sticks because I actually don't like green beans cooking that much. And in real terms, they were actually being steamed. And then when the liver and onions were cooked, I took them out, well, I took the liver out and added some cornstarch and thickened it up. 
And this is the result, my lovely dinner today. Some boiled potatoes, boiled carrots, steamed green beans and celery sticks, liver and onions, windfall apples that I've cooked down, some of the yoghurts from Marks and Spencers, and some blackberry juice, hedgerow blackberries that I'd foraged for and I just cooked those down and sieved them. So I've just got the juice. So that's my lunch today. Plenty left over for the next day, maybe two. I'd forgotten it was a market day in Weatherby today. Before I head back home, just having this week's treat. Raspberry Ripple Cornish ice cream with a flake in it. £3.50, but worth it. Take care, people.